guys, it's Shan Chan, and I know it's been a while, but I'm going to explain why it's been a while since I made a video in this video. But before we get started, let's check out my awesome hoodie. So this is my Star Wars premiere hoodie that my husband got me. Um, it's kind of like my birthday present. And if you check out the back, let me take it off. On the back, it says the Star Wars saga continues and it has a list oh, you can't really see that very good can you it has a list of the previous movies and it's really really freaking soft I love this jacket um, it's remarkably warm considering how thin it is where's my armhole I've lost my armhole and it has one of my favorite must-have items in a jacket, which is the thumb holes. This is like my comfort thing. It's like sucking my thumb version. <laughs> I don't know. It's just super comfortable. Okay, so now to the contents of this video. Why I haven't made a video in so long? Well, a lot of things have been going on. My kitchen, which you guys saw my video of it being remodeled um, is finally done and then on top of that a couple of things have happened my father-in-law got married my grandmother had a stroke and went to the hospital and me and Varian uh, have been working on our business that we have um, and our videos and our blog and our website and our YouTube and so that has taken up a lot of the time that I was previously working on these videos. And then on top of all of that, me and Varian have been making some decisions, I guess you would say, about what our priorities are. And up until this point, my first priority was to go to Japan. I wanted to go to Japan more than anything. I still... I'm planning on going to Japan, but I'm delaying going to Japan just a smidge because I am 35 as of this February, and Varian and I want to have family, and I'm getting to the age where if we don't start making babies, it's going to be a lot harder to make babies. So we are going to start trying to conceive. My plan is to wait until baby is old enough to fly and then go to Japan. This was a really hard decision because I had a fear. I had a fear that if I had a baby that I would not go to Japan, that I would let myself get caught up in the routine of everyday life and I would forget to take active steps towards Japan, that I wouldn't be able to put the money back to go to Japan, that I would let my Japanese go and stop learning, that I would essentially just get wrapped up in the day-to-day -day and never get around to it. But I made a decision <laughs> that even though I want both things, I'm not going to let getting one thing keep me from getting the other thing. I am just as determined to go to Japan. I am just as determined to keep up with my Japanese. In fact, when I have kids, I always wanted to be at a level in Japanese to where I could raise my kid to be multilingual. It is my goal to be multilingual and to speak Japanese, Chinese, well, Mandarin, and um, Korean eventually. So I started with Japanese. That is still my goal. So I don't want anybody watching this to think that, oh, she's going to have a baby, she's going to forget about Japan, she's not going to be interested in Japanese anymore. That's not going to happen, at least not with me. In order for me to make sure that I keep studying Japanese and that I don't get like so distracted in baby land, that I forget about Japanese. I am going to be studying for the JLPT N5. I don't know 
yet if that is the right level for me. Like, I don't know if my capabilities are at an N5 or an N4 level, and I know that the JLPT kind of like restructured, and so I really am not sure where my level is right now. I'll talk about that a little bit more in like a separate video, but that is what I'm going to do to help me to both keep my mind on Japanese and going to Japan while I'm having the baby, as well as help me towards my aspirations of being multilingual and raising my child. If not raising them completely multilingual from the get-go, then at least learning enough of the language to where I can teach them enough at a young enough age to where it's easier for them to learn the rest of it than it was for me to start learning at the age that I started learning, which was full adulthood, because they say that you learn languages better as a child. Yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to tell you guys for the moment. Just uh, keep your eyes peeled for more videos. Okay, until next time, bye-bye!